Today we're taking a look at the Phoenix Suns vs Los Angeles Clippers match, which is happening on Saturday, June 26, 2021, and giving you my betting tips and predictions in general on this game. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. If you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you. You can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours and hours of your time searching the internet for some fake betting predictions and losing your money because of it. Join High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advices instantly. The good news for the Suns is that Chris Paul was back on the floor after missing the first two games of the series in the COVID-19 protocol. The bad news is that the Suns lost the game 106-92. The Suns only shot 39% from the floor and were out-rebounded 51-43. They also made 8 fewer free throws. The Phoenix Suns are averaging 109.7 points on 48.1% shooting and allowing 102.4 points on 42.9% shooting. Devin Booker is averaging 27.2 points and 5.3 assists, while DeAndre Ayton is averaging 16.5 points and 10.6 rebounds. Chris Paul is the third double-digit scorer and Michael Bridges is grabbing four rebounds. The Phoenix Suns are shooting 37% from beyond the arc and 87.3% from the free throw line. The Phoenix Suns are allowing 33.8% shooting from deep and are grabbing 42.9 rebounds per game. The Suns didn't get much from their leading scorer, Devin Booker with only 15 points on 5 for 21 shooting. Paul had 15 points and 12 assists, while DeAndre Ayton had 18 points and 9 rebounds. Michael Bridges added 13 points for the Suns. He was no different for Paul who scored just 15 points on 5 of 19 shooting and drastically slowed the pace of the Suns' offense. Lack of conditioning appeared to be a problem, as many of Paul's shots landed short. He also struggled to blow by defenders in the second half and ran out of gas. He did finish with 12 assists and 3 steals, so not all was lost but with a day off to practice, rest and view film, I'm expecting a solid performance from Paul in this latest meeting. While we should expect a better performance from Paul, the Suns are reeling after losing backup point guard Cameron Payne with a left ankle sprain. The Clippers struggled with Payne's ability to penetrate and push the pace, so it's something that certainly impacted the Phoenix's chances of winning Game 3. Pain is probable so you have to be encouraged for the Suns if he plays. Flash news. For this game is have 3 betting advises for you guys. So make sure you don't miss any of it. Mitchell was dealing with an ankle injury, which limited his mobility and with the Clippers throwing traps and double teams at him, there were diminishing returns going forward. Booker might have a broken nose but it's tough to expect him to fade. And with the Suns having another capable ball handler in Paul, it's tough to imagine them slowing down the duo. The Clippers were my pick to win the Western Conference and NBA title. They had a combination of wings in Leonard, George Morris, Mann and Nicholas Tay could cause problems for teams at both ends of the floor. They could also spread you out and shoot the three, as they were the best three-point shooting team in the league. Los Angeles also had the defensive versatility to switch every screen and roll, plus lock down your best perimeter scorers. If you didn't have a big who could make them pay, you were in trouble. However, the Suns have everything. Perimeter scores in Paul and Booker, who can create their own shots, 3 and D wings like Michael Bridges and Jay Crowder and a big in Aiden, who can dominate in the paint. Still Los Angeles is one of the better offensive teams and the math problem they create for the Suns has been the biggest reason they've been in every single game. 
the Clippers were the top three-point shooting team at 41.8% this season, which has certainly carried over to the postseason. They're outscoring the Suns from behind the arc, 45-29, or by 48 points. This is the kind of math discrepancy that could allow the Clippers to steal the series. The Los Angeles Clippers are averaging 113.8 points on 48.6% shooting and allowing 107.9 points on 46.1% shooting. Kawhi Leonard is averaging 30.4 points and 7.7 .7 rebounds while Paul George is averaging 26.6 points and 9.1 rebounds. Reggie Jackson is the third double-digit scorer and Marcus Morris Sr. is grabbing 4.3 rebounds. The Los Angeles Clippers are shooting 39.9% from beyond the arc and 83.6% from the free throw line. The Los Angeles Clippers are allowing 39.1% shooting from deep and are grabbing 41.2 rebounds per game. Although the Clippers don't really have the bigs to contain Aiden, Ivica Zubak has come up big in this series. Los Angeles is A plus 30 with him on the floor against Aiden. He finished with 15 points, 16 rebounds and 2 blocks in Game 3 and was a huge factor in contesting the drained jumpers from Paul. Terrence Mann also continues to be a spark plug, as his energy was a big part of the Clippers' 21-3 run in the third quarter that gave them control of the game. With Marcus Morris banged up, Mann's presence will be key down the stretch. It will be a competitive game, but the absence of Kawhi will be felt as the Suns' backcourt returns to form. Neither team has lost in a game for this postseason, so one streak will end Saturday. My first betting advice is to pick Suns, minus 120. The LA Clippers once again won a game three. They have been behind 2-0 in each of their three playoff series and in each of those playoff series, they won games three and four, you wide away. They also won their first two series down 2-0. On Thursday, they easily defeated the Suns 106-92. The Suns are 4-1 ATS in their last 5 road games and 8-2 ATS in their last 10 games overall. The Clippers are 5-0 ATS in their last 5 home games and 6-1 ATS in their last 7 games overall. The over is 11-4 in Suns' last 15 road games. The over is 5-1 in Clippers' last 6 overall. The Suns are 1-10 ATS in the last 11 meetings in Los Angeles and 6-16 ATS in the last 22 meetings. The Clippers shot 45% from the floor and drained 12 three-pointers. They also out-rebounded the Suns. Paul George had another great game for the Clippers with 27 points and 15 rebounds with 8 assists. Reggie Jackson added 23 points while Ivica Zubak stepped up with 15 points and 16 rebounds. Terrence Mann chipped in with 12 points for the Clippers. Booker came into Game 3 with many fans and analysts comparing him to the late Kobe Bryant. The craftiness, the footwork, the mid-range shooting and ability to score is very reminiscent of the NBA and Los Angeles Lakers legend. Averaging 28.3 points per game in the playoffs, the All-Star guard is shooting 48% from the mid-range and had a 40-point triple-double in Game 1, adding 11 assists and 13 rebounds in the victory. Yet, it's been all downhill from there as head coach Ty Lue's adjustment to have Patrick Beverly defend him has impacted his efficiency. And it certainly doesn't help he broke his nose. Booker scored only 20 points, 5 of 16 shooting, in Game 2 and while he did hit a go-ahead basket with 27 seconds left to put the Suns up 102-101, the lack of efficiency was a sign to come. The Clippers have played their best basketball with their backs against the wall and Game 3 was no different. They have to like their chances of evening up this series. However, the Suns have still been the most consistent team throughout these playoffs and it takes more than one loss for me to jump off the bandwagon. In Game 3, Booker had his lowest scoring game of the postseason with just 15 points on 5 of 21 shooting. 
Beverly has done a solid job playing physical and aggressive, bothering Booker with a pestering presence. It's tough to hold a great scorer down. So we can expect better performances from him. While many people expected the Suns to win game 3 given Paul's return, there was some rust for the future Hall of Fame point guard who last played in a June 13th closeout game against the Denver Nuggets. The spread is basically a pick 'em so bet the team you believe will win. The Suns have not covered the spread in their last 2 games but did in the previous 8 games. The Clippers have covered the spread in 6 of their last 7 games. My second betting advice is to pick Suns minus 1, minus 115. against the spread. Coach Monty Williams will have to make adjustments to his approach for game 4 if the Phoenix Suns want to take back control of the series. Whether that's through a starting lineup change, a strategy change or both, Williams will have to do something different on Saturday. One of the most important assignments for Williams and his coaching staff is how they can free Booker from Patrick Beverly's stingy defense. Beverly has frustrated the Phoenix Suns guard into 10 of 37 shooting the past 2 games. It's unclear who played worse between Chris Paul and Devin Booker as they each made just 5 field goals and combined to miss 40 shots. Paul had 15 points and 12 assists but recorded a team high 4 turnovers. The Suns will need a more concerted effort to free him up if they are going to win game 4. The status of Cameron Payne who tweaked his ankle in game 3 and did not return will be closely watched. The Phoenix Suns need him so that Paul won't have to exert too much after coming back from a bout with COVID-19. Paul missed his first 6 shots before hitting one in the second quarter. After being absent for 2 games and not playing for almost 2 weeks, the 11-time All-Star looked gassed during the latter stages of the game. For the Phoenix Suns to take game 4 from the LA Clippers, Paul will have to take control of the offense like he did in the Nuggets series. If there was an LA Clippers player who stepped up much more than George has, it's Reggie Jackson. The 31-year-old has put up 23.0 points on a sizzling 53.7% shooting from the field with 4.6 assists and 2.0 steals a night in Leonard's absence. On Thursday, Jackson scored 23 points including 10 in the 4th quarter to prevent a Phoenix Suns comeback. The LA Clippers will need Jackson to keep playing at this level in order to extend the series, particularly in game 4 to turn this into a best of 3 affair. LA Clippers predicted lineup: Point guard, Reggie Jackson L shooting guard, Patrick Beverly L small forward, Terrence Mann L power forward. Paul George L center beats a Zubac. While Phoenix Suns predicted lineup: Point guard Chris Paul L shooting guard, Devin Booker L small forward, Jay Crowder L power forward, Cameron Johnson L center, DeAndre Ayton. The defensive intensity in the last two games has increased. Their total the last two games has been 207 and 198. The Clippers are forcing a physical game. The Suns have matched it for the most part. My third betting advice for that game is to pick under 218.5 minus 110. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.